Now, our next guest says that investing is going to be an edgy affair in 2010. Let's ask him why. He's Ben McClanahan, Lex columnist from the Financial Times. Uh, thanks very much for speaking to us. Uh, so, after President Barack Obama's plans to curtail the size of banks and the trading activities that they're allowed to engage in, are there fears in Asia that a similar type of legislation will be enacted there of this sort of domino effect? Are those fears justified, do you think? Well, there are certainly fears, but those fears are mostly confined to the, uh, uh, the local arms of the big Western and, uh, well, the U.S. and European uh, investment banks that operate out here. Uh, for local institutions, there really hasn't been much of a crisis. Uh, perhaps scarred by the, uh, the Asian crisis a decade ago, they went into this credit crunch in a very good position. Uh, loan to deposit ratio is about 75 percent on average, uh, excluding Australia and Korea, which is a very healthy position to be in. And as a result, uh, the loan losses they've sustained are about one fortieth of those that the Western banks have sustained. So on that basis, there's just, they're just not as blameworthy. So why do you think that Asian banks have demonstrated more resilience? Is it partly because, as you pointed out, that many of these financial institutions are still in their sort of embryonic stages of the development and that they will grow and get bigger in the coming years? That's right. And underpinning that, there's, um, there's a drive to create more uh, global financial centers based in Asia. Singapore, for example, Hong Kong, uh, Shanghai, uh, the other week introducing margin trading, short selling, index futures for equity investors. These are all sort of loosening of, of controls on bankers and we're going the opposite direction uh, over there. So yes, um, there is a competition to promote more of a healthy banking industry over here and the underpinnings are just much sounder because of that, um, the, the loan to deposit situation. Um, you say that they uh, have been a lot more relaxed in Asia, that we're unlikely to say that, that see the same sort of uh, regulation, but there certainly has been some concern, hasn't there? For example, in China, where they've been trying to rein in growth by curbing uh, lending, to, lending by banks to, to kind of limit the supply of cash growth uh, because of fears of asset bubbles forming. So there has, uh, people are expecting there to be some tightening of policy, right. if you like. Yeah, there's a little bit of bank, uh, uh, bashing of the banks themselves uh, because, as you, as you point out, the, the loan growth last year was so vast that uh, capital ratios really haven't kept up. So there will be lots of uh, capital raising to come this year. But uh, as far as banking bashes, uh, uh, bashing bankers goes, it, it's the opposite situation, that they're encouraging bankers to, to move here and to develop businesses here rather than the opposite. Okay, well, Ben McClanahan, thanks very much indeed for joining us.